Hey everyone, have you guys ever seen this black text on a white background with colored fringing all over the place? Or vice versa, white text on a black background? Well, today I'm going to talk about what that is, why it happens, and what you can do about it. We can actually prevent that, and I'm going to show you how. So hi everyone, my name is Doug. I run a company in Orem, Utah called Doug Johnson Productions. We do live event video production. And I run into this kind of thing fairly often, where somebody has a computer and they want to display it on video, and you go to watch the final video, and there's these weird colors all over the place, particularly if, if something has been scaled, it's been blown up or, or shrunk down. So this is what we call sub-pixel rendering, and um, let's yeah, just talk about what it is and why it happens. So first of all, this primarily only happens on computers. And what's going on here is the, the operating system on computers, modern computers, the PC, Mac, Linux, they take advantage of the fact that there are that each pixel on a screen is made up of three individual subpixels. Uh, on computer monitors, those are usually rain, arranged left to right, red, green, and blue, and they're arranged just like that. So uh, horizontally, red, green, and blue just went one next to one another. If you were to take a look at a display, uh, you would see that there are actually individual subpixels there. So take a look at this. This is a, a simulated sample, but, but if you were to blow up a screen and, and look at it, you would see this. So red, green, and blue subpixels. Now your eye does a really good job of, of combining those in order to give you a perceived illusion of a single color. But what's really going on there are there are three individual subpixels that are being lit. And, wh and what modern operating systems do is they take advantage of that fact. And so they say, if I've got a line that travels through a pixel, but it only travels through a portion of that pixel, I may say it travels through two-thirds, the left two-thirds of a pixel, then it only illuminates the left two-thirds subpixels in, in that situation. So if you have a RGB stripe monitor and the, that line travels through the second, or the, the left two-thirds, then the red and the green pixels would be eliminated, but the blue would be left off. Now, what, that, what happens with that is when you combine red and green without blue, you end up with yellow. And if it was to travel through just the left third of it, you would eliminate just the red subpixel and leave the green and the blue off. So, so that's what's happening here. So computers take advantage of the fact that there is additional resolution that comes into play with a subpixel. Now let's uh, take, a, take a look at a couple examples here. So I'm t I took these images from Wikipedia and I do recommend uh, if you're interested in this going and reading the article there. But th this first top example is uh, uh, the word is rendered with no subpixel rendering and no anti-aliasing. The one below it, the second one, is with anti traditional anti-aliasing uh, on pixel boundaries and then the bottom one is the word is rendered on subpixel boundaries. Now, if I zoom out a little bit here, you can see that the word is on the bottom has a lot more perceived detail to it. It, it looks like there's more resolution there than there effectively is. So, you know, computer manufacturers are just make well, all, all they're trying to do here is make the text appear sharper. And this works great as long as that you know that this display device uh, is has their subpixels rendered, uh, subpixels arranged just like that, and you know that the image isn't going to be scaled at all. So the problem is that's not always going to be the case. Say, for example, we're producing a video and it's going to be played on YouTube or whatever. You have no idea what resolution that's going to be displayed in. Someone might be displaying it in the window, so it's not taking up the entire screen, or they're they're watching it on a 720p monitor when you shot the video at 1080p, or it's a 4K monitor and you shot the video at 1080p. All of a sudden, those things start to show up. And additionally, not all displays arrange pixels the same way. So I'll give, give you a couple other examples here. So uh, this, this, these are referring to some older technologies. The PC, C, TV CRT, PC CRT, uh, a couple of different types of LCD. But even when we get into modern devices. So here's one example where between different scan lines, it alternates between the RGB and the, and the BGR stripes. And it even gets weirder than that. So some, some screens that use what they call a pen tile display will have an arrangement that looks something like this, where within a given pixel, there could be two red subpixels, two green subpixels, and a blue subpixel. I've even seen arrangements where there's two green and one red and one 
one blue in a two by two, two grid arrangement. So uh, imagine what that would do to text that has been rendered, assuming that subpixel rendering has actually taken place. Uh, it just messes it up. And additionally, today, we have a lot of devices where you can't guarantee the, the orientation. So phones are traditionally held in a portrait land, uh, orientation, but if someone's watching a video, they might slip, flip it to landscape, and all of a sudden, that subpixel arrangement has changed just because, due to rotation. So if you're producing video and, you've, and you're doing computer displays, uh, you probably want to turn this feature off. Now, uh, I will actually show you how to do that here in Windows, and I'll have a link in the, in the comments there to show you how to do it on Mac. But uh, you know, on Windows, this is called clear type. So you just look for adjust clear type text in, in the control panel. And as soon as that comes up, you have a checkbox here, decide whether to turn clear type on or off. So I'm going to say turn it off, and then step through. It's, it's a wizard, so you, you'll choose what looks best on your particular display, but just kind of choose some defaults there. Now, I'm going to close down my copy of Notepad here, and then relaunch it, just to make sure that the setting takes. Now, if, if you compare this to what we saw previously with the text, it's not as sharp. It doesn't appear to be as sharp. However, if I take a screenshot of this, and then bring it over into Paint, and paste that in, you'll see that all of a sudden those, those colors are now gone. And this looks a lot better when it's been scaled or viewed on a device that doesn't use that RGB pixel stripe arrangement. So, so that would be my advice for this. If, if you happen to be running, uh, happen to be using a computer display in one of your videos, turn off clear type on Windows. On Mac, uh, it's called uh, font smoothing. And on Linux, it depends on the variations, uh, which particular uh, distribution you're using. But you really want to turn that feature off. You, you're, any text that's shown on screen will actually look quite a bit better if you have this sub-pixel rendering feature turned off. So if you guys have any questions, leave those down in the comment section below. If you also have smart remarks or comments or otherwise, I'll, I'll take a look at those as well. So um, if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the subscribe link down below and also be sure to turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I do try to publish videos about once a week about video production topics in general, so whether that be uh, live or otherwise. So anyway, I do hope you guys have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you later.